Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Replay. I'm Andrew Reiner, and we're doing a very special episode. This is not the normal Saturday episode, and the reason we're doing that is we don't know how long this game is going to last. This could go for an hour. It could go for 20 minutes. We'll see. Jason A. Striker is here to play it with us. Hey, how's it going? Jeff Cork is here to play it with I us. I am. And then we have a very special guest who actually worked on the game, Rob Fleischer from Sandbox Strategies. Yes. Hello. And at the time, you were with Age Tech, correct? Yes. I was with Age Tech. So while that says oh, see, I these are fictional, that cat well, actually, blue somebody could actually play Rob. In the, I'm in here. <laughs> uh, so. And this was part of the A1 line. We didn't cover a lot of the A1 games. Rob, what was the A1 line for, for Age Tech? So the A, this is going to go back a, back a ways, but originally back in the day, I mean, this is like 13, 14 years ago, these were Comp USA and Office Max offered us like space to like have these like just about as generic as you can be games for the end of like the PlayStation life cycle there. So we had like um, boxing and racing and board game, shooter. And those were the names of the games. Those were the names of the games. And this one actually had like a subtitle. This was more descriptive when we got into like- So we'll flash the box art. You could see it says board game, but then it also had Top Shop on there. So it's actually a fun game. Andy McNamara fell in love with this. He was going to be in this replay, but uh, he said he had to go train some dogs or something. He's like a dog trainer <laughs> dog after hmm. a certain point in the day on Tuesdays, apparently. Uh, but let's get this started. Jason, you were messing around with this. We're going to do free play. Oh, I can't wait. Rob, how much of this do you remember? Uh, just about zero. Okay, great. So we're going to do four <laughs> player, zero CPU, right? Yeah. Right. Okay. CPU is always usually pretty good. And uh, I'm going to be player one, so I'm going to pick... It's a cat playing with a human head? What is this? Getting ready to boot it, yeah. I'm gonna pick my character. Ooh, I see a dinosaur. Oh, she's more like a frog. So all princess? of these completely fictitious. Except oh. for that guy, there's Which me. guy? <laughs> the one on the skateboard. They all okay. thought I was a little like, skater guy. Yeah, yeah, so when you go in there, that's what, um, they, When we go to the names, like the localization on these games I'm gonna be were pretty nutty. I mean, we're pre- basically like an office, they're about Four of us oh. that were all like twenty. Oh no, is that good? Donna? That's great. That we're all just localizing these games. Jeff so we get player two. Yeah, we get really rough translations of the games, and then um, we we kind of localize them, and we pretty much come up with whatever. At so which point do you just yourself what? in the game? I didn't do no. it. I didn't. One of the other <laughs> guys did, and I was like, all right. So they showed me after the fact on that. At which point do you just throw out the translation and just uh, shoot from the hip? Pretty much the whole game. Pretty much the whole game. Yeah, the whole thing. When Excellent. you see the translation, I mean, some of this stuff. Um, someone else could be me. But look at that. Oh, maybe I'll be me. Is it yeah, you have to be I, I should be me, yeah. 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 Roll time so look at, There, it, it is your name. Ta-da. That is my name. I know. I well, I'm not making what? that up. <laughs> Wait, what is your name officially these days? Because you changed it to Bob's with Yeah, it was Z. Bob's. That was on a Midnight Club oh, wow. cover trip with uh, with Halgerson <laughs> in San Diego. <laughs> he came up with that one. And you're also so, known as the Pickle King. And Pickle King as well, <laughs> yeah. So we'll see if we get some pickles and, in Oh, there. I didn't get that name. Yeah, with the hood. Just love of pickles. And so you, you guys have, still. you should pull out your old issue. We, re- we reviewed some pickles back in, <laughs> I think it was one in the 99. <laughs> we 99. were a little out of control back in the day. <laughs> yeah. Probably shouldn't have been running a magazine. <laughs> uh, but it still holds true. The the um, the Claussons are the best. So. Okay. Which, which so, map do you guys want to go to? Yeah. Is this going to be the These are all the malls. Uh, I don't think it matters. Whatever one floats your floats your boat. Jeff, Jeff, do you have night mall here? Uh, the one to the right. This yeah. Guy? This seems a little confusing, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. On Jeff Corks. Let's see. Target assets. Man, I don't know anything about this game. I just default seems fine. Probably. Default seems fine. <laughs> Number of bankrupt players. Who oh, is bankrupt. <laughs> well, you will be. <laughs> I'm about to be. All right, let's shuffle. This first. Rob. Look at that. All right. See this game. Works in my favor every time. <laughs> hmm, wonder why. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so about being involved with it. I have a so review. That is awesome. Andy did the main review. He gave it a 7.5, Rob. Yeah, uh, we were just... probably pretty disappointed. But then, I mean, this is a year or so like after PS2 had already launched, and it was kind of like towards the end. It was like when the first like budget titles were coming out for the PS1. There were so many out there. Mm-hmm. They were just like, we need some games. He uh, yeah. He recently just bought this game again. For twenty dollars, he found it for. So he paid double the retail price to get <laughs> get his own copy. But a lot of the other A one games, though, I looked before he came here. You get them for one cent on Amazon. Wow, like racing or <laughs> like billiards <laughs> or bowling. They're there. You're gonna pay for shipping, but it's like one cent for the game. All right, so, so we're gonna have to try to figure out what we're doing here. Yeah, I don't remember I a lot of this game. 
pencil rolls, right? Obviously, that's yeah, there's a map. Dice, so you got right? like this. You got this whole board here, which is basically a mall, and these are all empty shops. So basically, you want to go. It kind of plays like Monopoly. You want to take over these shops. And then you can start selling stuff. If people go buy them, they have to buy something when they get to your shop, but then you have to keep the inventory up. This so. would make a great mobile game today, actually. Yeah. And... Who are the creepy suits up top? Um, we'll find out, I'm sure. <laughs> Don't so you spoil go left it. or right. I understand. Yep. So stop there. And now he's going to build a store. So... So, it's like Johnson, so there was that. another guy that worked with us, Mark Johnson. Ah. So that's his bookstore. <laughs> Oh man, that was fun. You guys were so <laughs> clever. <laughs> yeah, we were. <laughs> really, really clever. All right, I'm going cooking fun. You want to see if there's a pickle in there? Yeah, I do. I well, you stock it with the. Uh, I guess I'll stock it after. So who's gone? I'm who's gummy. Who. Okay, there you go. Good luck. Spin that pencil. I think you could stop it. Yeah. Perfect. Uh -oh. Oh, the right. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect Good idea. <laughs> Oh god, the kiss the kiss <laughs> store, of course. <laughs> what? It's we were into heavy metal as well. Oh, it's nice. I don't know how much copyright you leave me to go through this. I don't know okay, what I think that's some stuff. Alright. Big that money. Aw oh, man, what? I don't get to build What's a that? store? The elevator. <laughs> I got screwed. Oh neat. But, but you, you might come out on I don't know if you stay the there. Top. So with this being called Top Shop and a little like Monopoly, Aww. are the uh, like <laughs> high, more high uh, high stakes stores up at the top? Well, it's wherever you build them, I think. Okay. I think it's if you get two together, they link together then. In oh, one big this store. is awesome. Who do I want to give money to? <laughs> <clears throat> Gay Merlin. All right. Uh, All right I just wanted. I'm a big Kiss fan as well. You yeah. got a booger problem, dude. I have a runny nose. The allergies, man. You want to buy the chicken wings? Yeah, the chicken wings. <laughs> They're great. I remember the the Kiss branded apple so pie. Why even give that money. option? I don't remember. Why would you buy chicken wings if you could get something cheaper? Oh, because so, it's sold out now. Yes. So someone's and then gonna he have has to, to restock it. Interesting. All right, I need a story behind this. Did you guys just have the uh, the artwork and then? Yeah, I think a lot of the gameplay, like a lot of the images, were all from. You know, different. We didn't change any of this stuff. Right. All this was the traditional, you know, stuff that was in the. How about like the the store shop names? We, I mean, this is the like thing. The, like we just had the list with like all the items and uh -huh. all the stores, and pretty much just localized it to whatever we thought was kind of cool or funny at the time. Neat. All right. According to Andy's so. review here, there are other card-based events that happen to mix it up, as well as player-created disasters. Man. <laughs> that are purchased uh, with points earned as you move around the board, so we can buy disasters. Whoa. Yeah, there'll be some random. It's fun. It gets really fun because there's a bunch of yeah. There'll be a bunch of things that happen. I think I read, remember some of those as well. Yes. All right. So let's. See. So now I can go. Mm -hmm. you should take the elevator up. Oh, I can't move back. Because mm -mm. I was hoping to go back oh, and maybe start to that. make like a nope. big block. That'd be cheating. This, uh, this cork don't stop. It's forward motion. Is that a spot you could build? Yeah, okay. Even yeah. With the Pretty much everything except the elevator. God, I'm going to get another <laughs> elevator. <laughs> you really, uh, thought you got the big roll and you got, nice well, you'd be the first one on the fourth floor. All right, Donna. Let's build something finally. Although I have all my money still. Mm -hmm. And you have to stop on the square just walking past it does nothing, right? Right. You have to land on that one. Oh, Just Yamato, good. that was another one. We loved much. Star Blazers, I don't know. What you got. I'm building <laughs> a pet store. What do you think I sell there? I want to... Cats, dogs. I want to make a store. Maybe. I'm going to guess cats for sure, because I know a couple of the staff e. off the cats. <laughs> Ooh, he got e. Oh, he has red cards. Okay. What does this do? The yeah, two Gs. That's a good one. What does that mean? Damn right I it is. Know. Go forward five. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh man! Oh, what do you have? What's what's my opposition there? What kind of shop do you have there? Game Land. <laughs> yeah, I'm opening game, game Land. Oh, that's wow. awesome! <laughs> I love these. So yeah, time flies. <laughs> yeah, that took a month. Count. That was a month. That was a that full was a month. month. <laughs> Meat Land. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's odd. Oh, 
So you get to like build up that shop, don't you? It looks no, like if, you, if like, you build right next to it, then it makes like well, a let's double see. shot. It looks like there's like a tetrisy shape that appears when you build something. Oh, really? Yeah, here. Oh, I got see that? Actually, band, yeah, so. I think that's a. And then it. I actually, I have no idea what's going. On. Where's that? Where are you talking about? I don't see any Tetris. See, shapes. it's right, oh, next yeah, the, right next to the. Oh yeah. Okay. And Reiner Ooh. built something, and it like blanked out one of the spots. Interesting. Oh my. <laughs> oh, this is a good spot. Oh no. <laughs> it's not it's really torn. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's a safe investment. Everybody needs pants. Yep. All right, here we go. Roll a donut. Just a one. Give me a one. Come oh, on. Wow. <laughs> Man, you're a big roller. <laughs> I guess those guys are just background? I think maybe if you go bankrupt, they come after you. They could be the bankers. Mall security. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks like they're kind of menacing somebody. Yeah, they're going uh, to throw that purple kid off the roof. Yeah. <laughs> the juice pub? <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> what was this rated? It has to be everything. Oh, it's E, so yeah. of course. Fermented this juice. is definitely like the best of the A1 games that we put out. There are a couple under A1 oh, yeah. as well. Oh, yeah. I'm taking over. I have a rundown of these. all the A1 brands here. Oh, oh really? There's sports. Wait, is that in the. That's it's on, on the, the manual. back? Oh, wow. Okay. There's sports Ooh. fighting, Whoa. action, adventure, puzzle, role play. Role, role play. play. Role play. Yeah, it's yeah. an RPG. <laughs> Simulation <laughs> and board game. <laughs> yep. Because what happened is Coffee says like, you know, we'll give you an end cap if you give us a bunch of ten buck ten dollar games. So like back in the day, it was like Compu and Office Max were selling huge like for video games and for ten bucks. It was like, yeah, all right, were. we'll put a bunch of these out. So we had the whole so if you look at them all, they all have the same kind of branding. I mean they all look pretty similar and they're all just really simple names. Um, this is not good for me. You thirsty Rob? <laughs> <laughs> I guess so. It's juice time. I'd hate bananas. Man, that's an expensive point. drink. Better be good. No. Yeah, why oh. would you choose to buy more? <clears throat> I could put them out of business, maybe. Oh. There are character bile. Well, I don't really know. I could take all this stuff, and then he has to buy more to... Yeah, because you have to, like, make deliveries to your store. Yeah. You have to land on one of your stores <laughs> in order to make deliveries... There's some crazy stuff going on. Okay. You guys did character bios. So for Gummy, who is Jeff's character, it's a male. Personality is cool-looking amphibian. <laughs> Appropriate. In that's, the all, that's all it says for Gummy. <laughs> and in the character select screen, I'm green because I'm a frog, but here I'm red. Hmm. It shuffled it. Another eight for me. Huh. I'm in trouble. Nope. Oh. Yes. <laughs> buy him out. Glass. Glass. Right I will buy one glass for so myself. One more. How about one more? Oh, I gotta buy two? Why? Yeah, just because. I could do that. <laughs> just, what does that do then? Then you, you don't spend money, but you also don't get a point. See, the point goes to you, and you get to spend these points on some crazy stuff <laughs> later on. Okay. I'm telling you. Uh, let's see. Whose character do we have here? Booger, girl, <laughs> guy. Where's That's Merlin. Merlin. Let's see the best. Yeah. Merlin is male. Whoa. Personality portrays himself as a magician. Hmm. <laughs> Daniel <laughs> Like I said, we were very creative. I was going to use well, that let's elevator see what Rob says. But you blocked it with your stupid I blocked card. it. Probably male. Oh. Rob is male, and it says personality reckless. Yep. That was pretty much. <laughs> Did you get a bad review that year at H Tech? No, no. They, they, let, they thought I was just kind of crazy because I, you know, we'd just stay in the office all the time. We'd never leave the office. We'd be playing Quake cannon. every night. We'd be. I had a saxophone I'd bring in and play every night. <laughs> I'm Donna. And like. My gender is unknown, personality unusual, and peculiar. Hmm. Donna, account. I think, was one of the sales girls. If I remember right. Fishing gear. Now we're talking. Should you put yourselves in all the games then? Like a racer and a... In, I, I don't in, think in, the in other racing ones... Racing one and two? I think those didn't <laughs> offer as much uh, options as this one did. This was probably one of the more text-heavy ones. I don't remember the RPG ones or the role-play games, but... Uh, I don't think in most of the other games because this one was was fun to work on, so we liked spending time with it. You should sell kids or sell children. <laughs> the kids. There was, a, yep. there was a kids store, and there's a warranty card in here that lists magazines that you uh, that you uh, maybe uh, would be reading. And I'm gonna mention those in a second <laughs> here after my turn. <laughs> Another what? eight. Wow. Payday. All right. So here's the the point in exchange your faces. stuff. So you've you've got one point. Ooh. You can get monies. You're gonna want to sit on them. 
I want to see all of these real quick. How how ruthless do these get? Ooh. Switch places. I'm gonna double. Oh. Wait, equip chirp chirp. <laughs> yeah, chirp chirp chirp. Oh, wait, trip 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 trip. trip. <laughs> Did you work? <laughs> trip. trip. <laughs> Did you work with a guy named Trip? Trip. <laughs> I don't There's think so. There's a ton so. of crap in this. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Whoa. <laughs> That's a long game, 99. <laughs> I, I'm sitting on it. <coughs> and I'm going to build a shop that you guys will... Oh, sorry, Game Land. No, no, no. You're in oh, the no, elevator. I'm in elevator again. <laughs> and, and you're you back went where you started. What? <laughs> okay, so Game Magazine's in, on the warranty card. Game Pro? Are these ones I've that you could those subscribe to? One. No, just you guys oh, want information no. on, on these. Oh, 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 when you filled out the warranty oh, yeah. card and sent it in. Yeah, okay. So there's Game Pro, yep. Game Buyer. You know what? I don't even remember Game I'm Buyer. Do you remember Ex Game Buyer? No. Expert Gamer, Tips and Tricks. I love Tips and Tricks. Mm -hmm. Expert Gamer was the LFP one? It was Larry Plant, right? Yep. Yeah, okay. PSM. Oh, that P was a good one. PS Extreme. Mm -hmm. Like those guys. Game Fan. Mm -hmm. Oh, diehard game fan. Next generation. They kind of changed everything. Yeah. EGM was fantastic. Hmm. Yeah, they're back now to an extent, yep. right? Yep. And uh, official PlayStation magazine. There's something missing there, Rob. Game Informer not, not in there. Not in there. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were the ones who liked your game. How did that happen? I don't know. I wasn't in charge. Either. That was Veronica that was in charge of those cards. Well, we need to get her on the Yeah. Phone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Look at that belt store. That's expensive. I want to subscribe to those other magazines right oh, now. Oh, wait, I just Liner. bought a belt. How do I do that? Shoot. I just, I'm, I'm keeping you afloat. He bought you a belt. Or a body belt <laughs> bought a belt, you. yeah. Oh, right on. What were you asking, Jeff? I was wondering how I go about subscribing to those other magazines. <laughs> oh, well, uh. That might be kind of tough. It's a little tough for some reason. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. Is it, can I see that for a sec? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> the warranty card also asks, why did you buy this software title? I mean, seriously. <laughs> the, first entry, the first entry is reputation. <laughs> what? People, we thought people would really like the A1 brand. Advertisement, like, type of game, product review, in-store display, price. It is weird that Game Informer is not on there. I, I feel yeah. bad about that, actually. These are a bunch of jerks. <laughs> Eights. What the hell, Rainer? Oh, it loaded dice. Oh. Or pencils. What's all that orange? What's going on now? Leaded pencils. I'm gonna buy. Jeez, this place is expensive. Hmm. Hey, hit, hit a fish market. Just hit R1. Stink you can up see yeah, place. we need to stink <laughs> next to the kids' store. Star Coffee, did that predate Starbucks? Yeah, it was. Well, it's Starbucks. It's probably around the same time. Merlin. This ma mall is getting really full. Now, this is where it gets so all over the place. So, oh, Rob, no, that's okay. you work at uh, mm. Sandbox now. So, now we work at Sandbox. What are you working them. on these days? Um, it's taking over. Doing PR with a couple different a couple different games, a couple different companies. So, um, work with Activision Whoa. on some of their titles. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have Halloween. Wait, wait, wait. What is he saying? Halloween. 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 Uh, with an N on the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, you're working so, with Activision? So um, work with Activision, work with S2, work with CCP, work with... Um, shoot, don't put me on the spot on some of these things as I move along. I mean, focus your attention on riding your yes. skateboard down the stairs. Let's <laughs> let me, let me do that first, Whoa. riding it in the elevator. Yeah, good job. <laughs> I'm Is back. Is the elevator broken now? Yeah, apparently it doesn't, doesn't go up. I don't know why that doesn't work. And where so, did you start? When did you... Uh... So I started at Ask. Ask. Well, I actually started at Sony in 96 on the East Coast. You guys might appreciate this story. In 96, I started when I went to... Inter I was, I'm from the East Coast. And I went out to the West Coast to try to get a job in video games. And when I walked into Sony, I tried to get in as a tester and I had like a marketing degree. And they were like, wait, you're from you're from the East Coast? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I'm from the East Coast. And they're like, it was right before the 96 Olympics. And they're like, we need someone to be out in Atlanta and Philadelphia for the All-Star game. And no one here wants to go because it's too humid there. <laughs> and I was like, all right. So like, can you like go there and just manage like they had, they were showing like it was Crash Bandicoot and MLB. And I was like, sure, I'll go out there as East Coast. So. That was fun. So I did that for like a month with those guys because none of the West Coast guys wanted to go East Coast, which is 
still bizarre. And then uh, worked at ASCII for about three years. And that was the original. I mean, there was like Kingsfield and um, oh wow, Armor that Core. Created, uh, uh, what is it? Dark well, it was all the from software. Yeah, right. It was yeah from, from software. software. Armor Core was the same thing. I mean, they were from software was the, one of the biggest developers that we worked with there. So um, it was a lot of fun. All the localization on that stuff. Then we did um, Echo Nut. Was it uh, Echo? Echo Nut. Is that right? I'm gonna RPG. And that was the other kind of spiritual successor to Kingsfield. Um, and then where'd you go? You ended up and at then, Rockstar at one point. And then right? I was working at Rockstar from pretty much GTA 2 Dreamcast through San Andreas. So, um, yeah, that was a long time. Candy store for sure. I'm sure there's so a I think lot that was about four or five tell years. Us. There's no stories I have. <laughs> Nothing ever happened <laughs> Nothing. at Rockstar. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I went with Matt on a Midnight Club too. Uh, cover cover story yeah, in San oh, Diego. That was the one. Yeah, I we heard stories about We were doing the underground racing in the warehouse. It turns in the out, cup. Rob, it turns out underground racing is illegal. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we went to a, well, we went to a legal thing first that was at where the Chargers play, and um, we did like this whole like shoot like photo shoot there and stuff. And then all the racer guys were like, "Oh, we're all going to like this industrial park right after this so that we can race some more." And we're like, "All right, we're down." And that was like then, straight out of Fast and the Furious. Like, yeah, yeah, illegal racing. <laughs> Matt's tied up in this. Like, He's like riding around yeah, in cars. Yeah. <laughs> And we were with the guys that were like the racers too. We were driving in their cars. I remember that and being just like, holy crap. And then the cops showed up and <laughs> somehow we talked our way out of it. Matt probably did being like, oh, it's for press. All right. The board's getting pretty full now. Oh, the mall. Yeah. Card. Yeah. There's so many great stories we could tell about just random things that happen while we're on Yay. Yeah. events oh, yeah. or, or just out in the field Word. reporting. Oh, it's been a long time. I want to, we can talk about the old GI offices. The old My, one in Eden Prairie? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't talk about that much, actually. Do you not? No. I just remember there going there and, like, blowing up stuff with firecrackers. <laughs> that seemed to be all you guys ever did. <laughs> hey, now. <laughs> we, we never left. Like, seriously, you'd get there at, like, 8 a.m. in the morning. Everybody started early. Right. You would stay there till like, 12 or 1 a.m. And that was, like, every day. And we only had a 60-page magazine. I had no idea what we were doing. I guess we were blowing up firecrackers and stuff. Anyway, yeah, yeah. No, I remember going in the warehouse. Because you guys only had that little... Like, the room was, like, this size. Yeah, really <laughs> tiny. And we fit every editor in there with yeah. TVs and all the systems. And TVs back then were the big, hunking, 200-pound mm -hmm. things. Uh, yeah, I remember Jay Fitzloff, who used to be an editor at Game Informer. He worked with you he at Sandbox. He worked at Sandbox, too. He was one of our first employees. He, uh... <laughs> He got a remote Some control a car and packed it full of as many fireworks as he possibly could. <laughs> right. And this wow. thing was in the office and we were all terrified of it because it's just <laughs> sitting on the ground. And if that thing blew up in there, we're all like dead or something. Yeah. But eventually he drove it through. He made a fire outside and drove it through the oh, fire. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't want to light it off. Well, that was actually smart. <laughs> yeah. And it went off. And it's funny because it's almost like Cloverfield. Uh, because, oh no. Yeah. Wow. Want some games. Oh, n you should check wow, out got... Haunted House for real. Like that game. <laughs> That's a good one. Pretty good. All right. There you go. That could have been another one in the A1 line. But when that thing went <laughs> off, like the videotape, like it just went white. Like there's so many fireworks went off. And then the next thing you see is Jay running like mad, like Cloverfield. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> the best elevators so you don't have any yeah. stories for us from rockstar yeah no, i don't i'm trying let me think i'm trying to think of uh <laughs> i used to come out here remember i was out here for like two weeks when you were here with gt was that san andreas that was Everybody's insane city. it was san andreas because okay. uh you dropped it off at the office right and then just had to hang out in minneapolis right i saw flog and molly that way i was like going to Whoa. shows every night and just like it was great and then I had to hand the game back to you, and then that was right because we couldn't really it. we couldn't leave it behind. So, uh, oh, I'm go I think if you go by the bank, that's where you get paid here. So Ooh, you got three points. That's your pass and go, as it were. Yeah, you're gonna need right. some money there, uh, Mr. Frog. Mm-hmm. All right, so who's winning right now? It's hard to say. Oh, so if you land on your think, own store, you can make a delivery. Okay, great. I think Rob is winning at his own game. He has $49 uh, dollars on there. Yeah, do you look I'm at the total? Second. The second number? Yeah, I think so. So that needs to get up to 14. Hold on. A million? So I'm, deliver I'm doing some deliveries here. Oh, yeah. 
So all right, so I got a work? bunch of spoons there. That's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, finish delivery. Yes. So what? Did, so, well, yeah. What did you do there? If anybody needs spoons, you clicked on that. You spoon. landed on your own spot. You land on your own store, then you can do a delivery to any other store. So one. So my cooking land was. Uh, was pretty deplete of uh see look at good thing i just restock <laughs> i'm gonna buy a spoon apparently oh, that seems to be a popular store so are you gonna you... buy another spoon <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> wow so you can if you land on your own store you can restock any of your stores you can pick a store to restock and you restock it with more valuable items yes the most expensive stuff you yeah. can find like spoons so this is going to rob <laughs> this is going to rob too this is my candy store yes but I'm going for 99 points, so I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'm gonna get all 99. You gotta not points. lose your money first. You guys could take over the mall. I'm just gonna hand those aliens 99 points. And yeah. Game. <laughs> so what is this other stuff here? Okay. Oh, so I am in first. Okay, great. That cool. So you got 5,000. But kicking. gummy, that who's gummy? They have nine points. Whoa. Me. Every time nine you points. buy something, I <laughs> think you get a yep. point. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. You'll be up to 99 in no time. Exactly. <laughs> we just need to play like Bang. 10 times longer. You look like an amphibian. Yes. I don't know if I want to spend points or not, but I kind of want to mess with you dudes. Reverse direction. Need more Close points to do rival good. store? I'm saving Whoa, that guy. Close a store? Huh. That's, uh, that's good to know. That's available. Oh, God. Yeah, Meatland. No. Meatland. That's another one. Of, <laughs> no. is, that, is that your shop? Uh, well, I would totally buy that bacon. that my shop? Uh-oh. What? Whoa. Oh, it's out of stock. I don't so know if I have enough it. money, but Bobsons. So I can put in a <laughs> comic is that boy. My, is that my store? It was. Was now it's a comic boy. Oh no! <laughs> we had too many meat, meat lands. In this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really like that artwork that you guys included there. It's very, very nice. I wish I could take some credit for it. That guy's booger needs. Do you guys to ever watch stop. Food Network where they have the um, battle of like the food courts? They just did one in Minneapolis no. where they had like some food court, but it wasn't at Mall of America. It was at like some other mall in Minneapolis, which oh. I didn't even know you had. What, how do oh, we, we, <laughs> how so we, we got some new releases. Z-Man, I how, hear, is really good. How does that... Uh, so wait, could you buy out my store, though, if you spent all the oh, money yeah. here? I, try, I got enough. I mean, why not? Yeah, give it a shot. Oh, it only lets me buy two, two things. things. Oh, oh way to go two. there. Nice, nice... Strategy. Strategies. <laughs> Strategies. <laughs> All right, this is starting to get a little heated. Uh, like the room's getting hot, or well, the room is really <laughs> hot. But no, like if it you is. Can take over, like. Oh jeez. I just want to see what's like, starting to deplete here. Capture rival store that has no item. Money double. I oh, I can what? equip my <laughs> my trip 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 shoes. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'll do that. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jeff's the closest to 99. I still have to give someone a bunch of money. Oh, nice. Safe or you use the elevator to yep. go to the first floor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you doing there? Are you just in there like smoking crack or something? Yeah. Uh, level design on this one. The first, that, that, that elevator is actually underneath the staircase, so it doesn't seem to go anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> that's on kid. Yeah. That's magical probably, music that's for me. That's probably it. Oh, my God. Yeah, that one's on the developers. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm waiting for that. Oh, you too. don't have very many points at all. What are you talking about? I got five. Four, I could close one of your five. stores. <laughs> Almost. I'm Marlin. I took the lead, by the way. Did you? Oh, shoot. For yep. now. After you close that store. I get screwed. Mm. Now, I already have an Italian restaurant. I'm moving in. So You're can, almost out of money, though. I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> Whoa! I've got clout all over this mall. <laughs> what is he doing? It's March Madness. <laughs> He's got a... Uh, Just smashing his head in there? Is that what you? The Whose guy is that? It looks like the tree's bashing his head into that bowl. Yeah. yeah. It's business. Man, we got to get up to 24,000. Any, any money? Damn it. No! My empire. Right next to your Italian store. Sports shop. Saving groceries. <laughs> <laughs> is that stuff you put in the freezer, I guess? I don't know. Just sit on it for a while? What What is saving groceries, I, Mr. Localization? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that one we might have left intact. <laughs> that might be the original translation. 
I don't know why I did this. <laughs> that was super to dumb. To get some fish. <laughs> yeah. I have great fish. Sir, would you like some shrimp? It's fresh today. No? No. <laughs> All right, this game's going to end up going on forever. Uh, Rob, you're intent on winning. We're going to play yes. it off camera. <laughs> I mean, this would seriously probably go on for three hours. Uh, so we're going to wrap this up. Top Shop from H-Tech. Still a lot of fun. A1, A1 games. From A1. It was, it was oh, a sub-label sub of H-Tech, yeah. Uh, Andy says in his review, Top Shop is a fun little game that is great for all ages and really can't be beat for 10 bucks. All your fish markets are belong to me. No way. That's how his review ends. Yeah, he pulled that joke out. <laughs> Yawn. <laughs> uh, so that's Top Shop, everyone. If you can find it, it's it's better. It's better it. than he reviewed it. It's better than a seven and a half. And someone should buy A1 Games and bring this game back on mobile because it seems like a perfect fit. Yeah, I agree. Thanks for watching this bonus episode, everyone. We'll see you on the next replay.